fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to top stitch. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here is a skirt that I've made and it has top stitching on it. It is a decorative stitch and I've used it along the yoke of the garment and within the seams. When you're doing top stitching you need a top stitching needle and basically what that means is that I, which is here, is bigger than the regular needle that you use for most sewing projects. This is roughly about a size 80 or 12 and a top stitching needle can be between 90 to 100 which is about 14 or 16. And in order to do your top stitching, you're going to need a thicker thread. I hope you can see the difference between these two. This is what you would really use as a regular thread. And then the top one is going to be the top thread, and that is thicker. So that is really recommended for doing top stitching. Here I have a sample of a garment section. And along this edge here, which is going to be the finished edge of the garment, we're going to be doing some top stitching. Now before I do the top stitching, it's always recommended that you do face stitching so you can keep all the layers together. I'm going to be sewing one centimetre away from the edge, um, or that is three eighths of an inch. I'm also going to be making sure that I've got long tails as well. I'm not, I haven't secured the stitching which I'll tell you about in a moment, the reason why I've done that. And just go all the way to the end, making sure I keep it to one centimetre from the edge. I'm using my plate here to guide me to make sure I keep it straight. Coming to the end, and I'm also not going to backstitch as well. I'm just going to keep long tails. My top stitch is now complete. I just want to secure the threads and I'm turning my work to the wrong side, getting the tails, pulling them apart, and just tying a knot. Just a few times on top, just to make sure we secure that stitching. Nice and secure. One more. About three, I've done three there, about four I would recommend to do. Now you've got that in place. Then cut quite close to the threads. And then you are done. Just to recap, you need to remember two things. You need a bigger size needle, top stitching needle, because it has a bigger eye. And you also need a thread that is also thicker and it's a top stitching thread. So when you go along to, to the store, just ask for a top stitching thread and they'll give you a thicker thread. Now, remember that the top stitching method can be a decorative method as I've shown you in the example of the skirt that I've done. But it can also be used as holding layers of fabrics together. So if you have any questions or queries, put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.